forestry. There's a large difference between what McGuinty Liberals say and what they do, Speaker. Yesterday, I suggested Grant Forest Products could improve its bankruptcy proposal and keep jobs in Ontario if the Premier and his minister would immediately remove the red tape around the forestry fund that they created. The response of the acting premier and minister was insulting or even shameful to me, to Grant Forest Products, and to the 1,500 employees who may soon lose their jobs. It was the usual dodge that they don't want to interfere in matters before the courts. Can the minister explain to Northern Ontario families why Dalton McGuinty had the political will to intervene in the bankruptcy proceedings of Chrysler and GM in Southern Ontario, but won't lift a finger for a Northern Ontario company. Mr. Mr. Speaker, we're working very, very closely with the forestry sector to uh, provide uh, incentives and supports in a, in a number of ways. And, and the member does understand that the uh, uh, Grand Forest Products is in CCAA, and it is a court process. I appreciate he does not accept that, but that is indeed a fact. But the fact, but the more important fact is that our government has been incredibly supportive in a number of ways. We've flowed over $614 million to the forestry sector in the province of Ontario, and that is an unprecedented amount of support that's come come to the industry and it's helped uh, keep mills open, it's helped uh, reopen mills that were closed, and it's helping us through a very, very challenging situation right now. I can give you many, many examples of that, but certainly we've provided $205 million through our Forest Centre Prosperity Fund, where are the Northern Public Paper Electricity Rebate Program, an extremely significant one that has been given rebates back to the industry, the large public paper companies, has been remarkably helpful in reducing their costs. So indeed, Mr. Speaker, we could not be more supportive. We'll continue to be supportive of the forestry. Supplementary. Speaker, uh, Dalton McGuinty has been untruthful with the people of Northern Ontario. Uh, Ask the Honourable. Th Ignoring. The proposal Grant Forest Products could true. put before the court would look very different if they had access to the loan guarantees that you created for this very purpose. The forest sector loan guarantee program still has $307 million in it, but Grant Forest Products can't access it because of the red tape created by the McGuinty Liberals. You say you care about Northern Ontario families and jobs. Prove it today by granting a homegrown company the loan guarantees it requires to save 1,500 jobs. Let David so, uh, Mr. Speaker, I mean, the member is aware of, uh, that the, the sale of Grand Forest Products, uh, Englehart and Earlton facilities to, uh, to Georgia Pacific. Uh, they've guaranteed and, and committed they will keep indeed the, the Englehart facility open. Our, our goal is indeed to, to maintain jobs in the uh, forestry sector, and indeed that, that will be the result. The court monitor process is an important one, and indeed I know there's been a consortium of northern business leaders that have put a proposal before the uh, court monitor, and that indeed will be considered, I'm sure, in very seriously. The fact is that we are committed to, to finding the best way we can to help the industry. That is why we've got a wood supply process going forward, a competition going forward that is going to make put Ontario's wood to work. That is why we are getting a forest tenure review in place, because we believe there is a, a significantly improved way we can actually allocate license and price our, our crown for resources in the province. This is a huge commitment from our government, one that we are very, very much continuing to maintain. It's so over $614 million in investments, and certainly one that Thank you. New question, the member from Wellens. Thank you, Speaker. To the Minister of Education. Speaker, Niagara's school board is getting ready to shut down Crowland Central School. Crowland is a rural school, and its closure is going to leave a large